We have a really specific mission in the shelter system and that's to serve people who have lost the option to go to any other shelter in the community. And regardless of all the other demographics, you always have this small margin that's considered chronically homeless. Sometimes it makes you curious. Sometimes it makes you a little bit sad. We should all just be mad as hell because here we are in the greatest country on earth and we have more homeless people literally living on the streets than a lot of places. We don't ever tell anybody what they need because we really believe people know what they need and they just need somebody to hear them. Collectively, when we're in groups, we're like, well, they're all just, you know, they just got to stand up and brush themselves off and go get jobs and do all this thing, right? But I think that if you really spend some time being really thoughtful about it, you realize that if it were that simple, wouldn't we see things changing for people? Because nobody wakes up and says, I'm going to choose this. Sleeping in crowded conditions where I'm more at risk for all kinds of health things and violence and everything else, I'm going to choose eating in a soup kitchen where I just get to eat whatever I'm given every day and right next to the same person who threatened me yesterday, I'm going to choose this where I don't know when I'm going to be raped, mugged, or beaten. Why would people choose that over getting a job if it were as simple as getting up and getting a job? People need the right types of support. But I know that this community has decided that nobody's going to freeze to death because they got drunk that day and they were homeless and there was nowhere to go.